Hi, I'm the Woodpecker today. I make a base for my second camera. As you can clearly see, my camera has become defective. I need to do something about it. I decided to keep it anyway. But I spent some money and bought another one. Exactly like this one. But I only have one camera base plate. So I'll make a second one. With wood, obviously. The original base has a very special shape. This helps to grip the tripod's head. So I'll take this piece of walnut and make a new base, just like this one. But first of all, I need to make at least one edge straight. Then with the base itself, I adjust the rip fence and cut it to it. The bottom of the base has an angle of 24 degrees, so I adjust my blade and cut both sides. Now I need to remove more wood from the base. But because of the weird shape of my wood, I can cut the first side easily, but not the second. It's because of the splitter, I can go past the blade. So I change my throat insert for the one without any splitter and cut it. Next, I cut the base to the right length. Now, both bottom parts of the bases are pretty similar. I just need to work on the sides. I begin by cutting a rabbit on both ends. After cutting it, I realized that I goofed again. I have to cut another one. Now I need to recut the rabbit, but this time I bring the original base with me. Then it's time to cut the end slots. Now both blocks look very similar. I need to try it on the tripod. It's just a little too wide. I just have to plane it a little. Ah, it's perfect. I can smooth all the edges now. Now that I have a base, I need to be able to fix it to the camera, but I don't have any screws. I modified my original base so the screw is not centered in the middle because of the battery. I need to do the same thing with this one. I begin by drilling a quarter inch hole through the base. Next, I chamfer the other side with a bigger drill bit. The screw I intend to use is too long, so I cut it. Finally, I can try it on my camera. And check that the battery can be removed easily. Now I have to add a cutoff nail to forbid the camera from moving. I also cut a piece of inner tube to place between the camera and the base. 
After punching two holes, I can glue it in place. Then I can screw the base onto the camera, try it in place, and I can frankly say that I'm happy with it. But I notice that if I want to use it on a normal tripod, I can't, because I have nothing to hold it in place. I need to fix this. Ah, this is way better. I have even more options for my camera. I'm very happy the way the base turned out. And from now on, if you see this nice flashing line in the picture, you'll know that it's because I'm using my old damaged camera. So, see you soon with a better picture on the woodpecker. Yeah.